So Stephen Ben Kars recently made this video about the dangers of meditation and a friend of mine sent it to me and they, they were kind of asking me what my thoughts on it are. Um, so it's a pretty controversial video. It's talking about the dark side of meditation and it talks about a lot of research that's been done that shows that it's not this, this really great healthy thing. He's very, very negative about it. And, you know, it's kind of easy for me to dismiss that video because the truth is I do kind of have some concerns about meditation, believe it or not. I've talked about it in the past a little bit, but I think it's not talked about enough. Now, it's not necessarily the same sort of issues that Stephen Ben Cars has about it. I would come at it slightly differently when talking about, I wouldn't even say the dark side of meditation, but problems with meditation. There are problems with it. Um, what are my problems? What, where will I start with this? Um, there is an issue with it, and I'll draw on some practical experiences in my life from talking to people who have been practicing meditation for a long time. Some of these people have been practicing meditation for years. Some of them have run classes in meditation. Um, so people who are very, very experienced meditators and some of them have told me that they, ha they are completely unhappy with their lives and they've been doing it for years and years. Now, I have to say generally they are, are happy with meditation. They're not critical of meditation, but they also admit that they're not happy. So why is that an issue? It's kind of an issue because uh, it is as Stephen Ben Carris talks about in his video, meditation has become this huge, huge industry. It's a $1.2 billion industry. 40% of Americans meditate. And this is kind of where the problem is with this. When something has that much money involved in it, marketers get involved. And marketers have a job to sell courses, to sell classes, promote teachers, etc. And to do that, we all know marketers uh, don't always exactly tell, you know, paint a realistic picture of what's going on. The marketing, of course, is, is, is important. You know, people have to market their, their businesses. Um, there's not, I have nothing against that. But when it's this big of an industry, there's going to be a lot of competition and every teacher and every course has to say why it's the best one. And people start to make claims about what meditation is and what it can do. So if you're gonna try and sell a course in meditation, you're gonna say that this is the best thing you can do in your life. You're gonna have peace of mind. You're not gonna have any more problems. Your stress is all gonna disappear. You're gonna feel better. You're gonna be healthier. Okay, sun, moon, and stars is what you're gonna be promised. Now that's where the problem lies. Meditation is good and it has a very, very useful application. And I'm going to talk about what that is. But it is not, let me repeat this, it is not a cure-all for every issue that a person might have. Certainly not for every person or type of person. As I've talked about, I've met many people like this. And, you know, I kind of experienced this myself. Like, I, earlier in my life, I meditated a lot and found it useful, but it wasn't bringing me all the way there. You know, there were still things I had to do, which I'll talk about now. Let's say you, let's take an example, okay? Let me give you an example. Let's say there is a woman and she had a terrible childhood. Her father was verbally abusive to her, um, emotionally distant. She grew up not getting any attention from him other than negative attention. Grows up, tries to get into a relationship, gets into a relationship, and now her partner is acting emotionally distant. At this point, maybe she hears about, she's deeply unhappy still, feels rejected, wants love desperately in her life. And now she finds out that there's this thing, uh, there's a meditation class near her. She enrolls in it, starts to meditate. She hears how amazing it is and is gonna fix all the problems in her life. And she meditates and she feels better for a while, but after a while, she starts to feel that emptiness returning again. And now she's even worse off than before because she's comparing herself to the people in her meditation class. They're all having these great benefits or so they're telling her. 
and now she's saying well there's something wrong with me i can't even meditate i'm not good enough and that's the issue where is meditation useful meditation is useful when you are so stressed out and you're worried you've got anxiety basically your nervous system is telling you it's on like red alert all the time meditation is good for calming the nervous system so it is good for stress it will slow us down bring us back into the present as they say bring us back into the breath into the body as a primer in order for us to be able to be contemplative about our life to start to look at the issues in our life maybe talk about the issues in a more calm way with a professional maybe uh, about the things that are really bothering us so meditation is a great tool to calm and relax the nervous system and bring us to a place where we're more open to seeing things differently or discussing things openly it is not it's, it's like a means to an end it's not the end itself meditation by itself is not where it's at it's just a part it can be a part of that and there's a lot of other ways that you can relax and calm yourself down take take care of yourself good uh, self-care uh, plans and strategies those things will do the exact same thing so i do like meditation but it is not this cure-all thing that it's been marketed to be by a lot of people and if anyone tells you it is i would invite you okay just to be skeptical and if you think it will be then try that you know try that don't don't take my word for it and you know don't let me put you off this either like go out there and find out what works for you if meditation is the thing that's going to really really help you go and go and find that out but go in with a kind of an open mind about it like you maybe should do for everything in your life anyway you know so i kind of agree with with stephen ben Carr's in that it's not what it's kind of made out to be meditation i wouldn't say it's bad necessarily i think it's it's pretty pretty dodgy the way it's been marketed um but i'm not taking anything away from you here because i'm trying to empower you like if you start to meditate as a way to be to get to a resting place where you're ready to start to be to be contemplative about your life that's awesome that's really cool because now you can really start to look at the things maybe you're projecting onto other people or the limiting beliefs you have about yourself you know that's not meditation it's kind of like <clears throat> you bring a meditative state to that contemplation you're like meditating on those issues in your life that's kind of a part of meditation yeah it's a slow process where you feel things rather than thinking about things intellectually so in that sense meditation is important too when you're actually contemplating on these things or talking about these issues or looking at a limiting belief you're doing it slowly and mindfully so that's important so i hope that helps that's my feedback on it for uh stephen ben Carr's video um if you're meditating and getting benefit out of it fantastic even if you're new to it and you or maybe you've never tried it before definitely do try it but realize it's it's it's, it's really super helpful if it can bring you to a place where you become more open-minded and start to be ready to look at some of the issues in your life the things that that make you feel bad about life not to ignore them or not to try and hope that you can meditate them away you know and then ignore them it's not about that meditation or self-awareness in general is about looking at the things that disturb us about life and about our, our limiting self-beliefs so guys feedback on that you can leave it below i'd love to hear it um if you like this content you can like the video and subscribe for more of these videos and um, you can find out more about me and the work i do at my website drdavidmaloney.com and um, thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video bye